Pino Black, folks. And people, you see what you see. Okay, and now if you watch, I have just watched my last video before this, actually the last two, last half dozen, last dozen, all of them, they're stealing them, folks. If you watch my videos, the last three or four, I'll show you basically they are stealing videos that are not copyrighted, private dick organizations, and basically anything digital, anything on electrical, IP, internet, never disappears. Hello, Library of Congress. Been there. Love the place. Was there when I was a little monkey? Little kid. And fell in love with it. And then that's when the internet came out. Bino went, holy crap. The holy grail right here on your phone line. Not on a TV. Not on an FCC. Well, somewhat regulated, but that's just regulating the owners of the phone companies. Okay, They don't regulate the person that's paying the bill to have it happen. Okay? So, big business in America, ladies and gentlemen. Beano Black's all for that. Not communism. Kill a commie for your mommy every day of the week. Okay, now, what you see, and that's for your kids, your family, everything. Uh, you want to be able to buy whatever you want to buy. You want to be able to say whatever you want to say. You want all your constitutional rights. It's not going to get treaded on. Everything's fine. So, there's no fear there either. So, everybody needs to relax. Uh, everybody in the U.S. military is not brainwashed. They will take care of everything. They like apple pie. They like no pies in the sky, but we got some big pie in the sky, okay? Uh, famous people, one guy lived behind the Greek, and they made fun of him and ran him out of town because the idea that he talked basically, hey, you caught me eating dinner and I had a couple drinks and I was telling the truth. Shit, what the hell? It's genetics, you know? We breed cattle every day to what we want. All kinds of things get done. Okay, so anyway, you should be able to see the meatball here, okay, to the right, and we got the great footage up here from the Canadian, uh, I think it's French, whatever, astronomy team or whatever over there from the webcam on the cloud cam, so here we go, and it's not, repeat, it's not the halo, okay, it's not the halo of the sun as it goes away, because the halo's gone, okay, halo's gone, and there goes the meatball, and if you watch uh, my undisputable, uh, and I don't know what else I put, an undisputable meatball, I think, or undisputable. Just look for undisputable on one of my nameplates on one of the videos. I ain't got time for that. There's so much stuff to go around and look at and see and find, and it's so amazing. We are in an amazing times right now, ladies and gentlemen. You're never going to see this massive pie, pizza pie in the sky. In your eye, it's amore. And yes, Dean sung a little bit better than Dean. Uh, then blue eyes for crying out loud, I think. Anyway. So, looky, looky, because we got big old meatball right there. Okay, because I just showed you that basically as we go through this, and I'll play the whole video, there, and suns, okay, doesn't really matter too much about that. We know that there's way more than one sun. Okay, that's all factual. Okay, now, as we go away, the halo of the coronal basically probably saves the lot of small stuff from hitting the sun, goes away, okay, and then we get to see the meatball. There's the meatball starting there, okay? No, it's not a perfect match of a coronal protection of the sun that's out there. It's huge, and it's not around the sun. Well, it might because it's starting to shadow the sun, and you've seen it on the foot footage. And I'll show you that video in a minute. But there is the meatball to the low, upper right. You can't miss it. That is the meatball to the upper right. Darkness back door because basically, and now towards the daylight hours, okay, because we're getting into 6 o'clock in the morning, okay, and the sun is up. Yeah, duh, because the sun, we did show you the sun coming up, okay? So basically right now, for rare times of who knows how many years, because Eddie, we go 365 point something days around the sun. That's our calendar. And then, how many times have we ever went around the sun? Okay? Yes, yeah, so we follow the suns, the sun, and the sun is in the supergiant's main sequence. When did it get in the supergiant's main sequence? That's the key. Okay? I'm looking for that, but I want to have it on more than one reference so that it's basically, that's concrete, it's history. Uh, yes, Eric the Red or whoever, the Vikings were in North America and even possibly the Indians. Who really cares? Something was here first. Okay, now I'm basically looking at data at the same time I babble my lips. So the idea that at the end there, uh, did we have the sun coming back up again? 
uh, we can super giant or whatever. So this is plain, and you see the dark objects that we have out in space. Uh, I'm starting to wonder about the one to the lower right over here that you end up seeing, that it's got such a perfect uh, rectangular shape that it might be that big old solar panels or whatever the hell that we know that we've seen from uh, space shuttle footage that the NASA has some project up there, and I'm never really worried about too much about what it was that they had up there or something like that, because whether it's either, it, they, they're they always going to have something if it's top secret doing something else, like keeping an eye on, you know, you paying your taxes or something like that, uh, they're not going to tell you. It's doing something scientifical out there, you know, you see what I'm saying? And then usually anything that gets put up by NASA or the military is usually doing more than one thing anyway. It's usually doing something civilian, scientific research, this, that, and it's usually doing something military at the same time because they're going to learn from something from everything. Okay, so then the coronal goes away of the sun, and then there comes the meatball to the right. And it's the color is what basically sets it off because it's red. Okay, and whether the sun's lighting it up and making it red, the supergiants and so forth, it doesn't really matter because we got blue sky and there's a reddish color to that. Okay, whether it's a big old gigantic sun that's cooling off, they really kind of doubt it because otherwise it would be pushing light to us. Okay, so there's one of the meatballs. Okay, because there's many of them. I showed you the data on that from NASA before. That's why you need to watch all my videos. Might take you a week, but you watch them all. Okay. So then we go through this. We got the clock time. I was just seeing here again. So we're going into the afternoon. Yep. Like I say, I don't edit and everything like that. And then we just throw these stuff out here. You can go find the stuff. Bam, there it is. Like I want. Okay, I'll hit record the damn thing and throw it up on the internet. And flash, flash, flash. They're watching what I'm recording. And you're watching too. So there we go. We got uh, sunset. Okay. And you seen what went up that way, correct? A duh. Very interesting, huh, ladies and gentlemen? The truth bleeds. More than one sun, ladies and gentlemen, because there's the sun setting, okay? Or what is it? <laughs> truth. Okay, because you see the clock, it's in the evening, or is it in the morning? Sure looks like the sun's going up to me. Okay, so watch the clock. I ain't even got time to edit if I'm wrong on that big ass deal. So what do we start out? Do we start out here at 1800 hours? So it's evening. So I guess we got real incriminating evidence here again now. Because basically it's one of the suns. I don't think the sun's setting and rising in the same side. Either that, or are we stuck in kind of like we are not rotating all the way around 360 degrees right now, ladies and gentlemen? Does, does the scientists, the mad scientists, want to come out and tell us that? Because there you go. Okay, and don't care if that's the moon. Don't care what it is. Don't. I'm not even wasting time researching that right now because in the past on my videos I've showed you that the idea of the moon wasn't there. Okay, now this could be the moon there, and Jupiter, Venus, Mars, whatever, doing a big old congregation 3D, this, that, whatever. But no matter what, from the, the light reflected off the supergiants and whatever stars anywhere in space are showing you, it's the idea that there's a big halo to that, whatever the hell that is. And then there is huge, and I mean hell of you huge and massive, this here, and also if you also watch out here, that's a hologram of this huge ass thing right there. Okay, because this huge thing is in the dark, back door. United States of America, the world, the earth, everything, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Backdoor Canada, backdoor Australia, backdoor Mexico, backdoor everything, okay? It's backdoor of earth, okay? It's out our back door, the dark side, okay? The big ass flipping meatballs, okay? Because there it goes, the right hand side up, okay? You can't miss it. Back up the tape and watch it, okay? So, anywho, truth data bleeds factual, wild. Let's watch the sun come up. So anyway, you get to 1,300 feet out there in Hawaii or anywhere around the world, and you're probably going to get a pretty flipping freaky-ass view in the middle of the night. 
Big wampum in the sky. Dot damn straight. Something's big ass out there. And over time, I would say everything's safe because everything's banged into each other. Now, there could be ricochets, this, that, and that. Yep. Shit happens every day, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, folks, I am re-uploading this video. And basically, and I don't show the address bar, I don't know. I mean, I do somewhat. So anyway, uh, there you go. And I'm going to be able to show you another address because the idea that it was already uploaded. And it's not me playing games somewhat because you used to be able to do that and you probably still can re-upload the same video, okay? And basically, I'm re-uploading this video because I've got proof that it was on the internet last night, but they never, they kept on going, it's doing this and doing that, and, and there are a bunch of shit there because I don't have ICP usage. That's the antivirus company helping me out, doing its job, okay? Because they don't want the truth getting out there, okay? This stuff's out in space. Probably nothing's going to happen. Shit's banged into each other billions of years ago, okay? But we get magnetic resonation from metals in outer space, okay? And reactions from stars and light and atomic light and light and CMEs, coronal mass ejections, electrical static through space, and we can see it by even looking at science data, okay? Factual data. It's not just science. It's not even science. It's data. And basically, uh, I would honestly rather have in the future, I'm just showing you that up here, the ge geometric field storm. Now, as far as I know, the government is still down on this here. And basically, I don't think they want people freaking about, about what is actually going on with our you know, I think there's a lot of people that have been starting to pay attention to people like in Dutch and stuff like that. And we love Dutch's channel and so forth and so on. Uh, you know, and basically I think he's smart enough to have already seen where uh, private money, uh, power, and control can even control the black box and override the black box. Power, money, and control gets what they want. They roll, okay? Uh, the government is just a facade, okay? Uh, so that's why you always have to stick up for your constitutional rights, okay? Uh, everybody's family that has been military in this country has usually uh, shed some blood either home side or overseas for uh, your country. So uh, eventually I want you people to be able to do this with me, and it's going to be LLC, LLP, because basically it's just to make sure that books don't get burnt in libraries, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And I am anti, anti uh if I had a company that was uh, named something, uh, I would make it so that the idea uh, ain't going to get burnt, okay? Ain't going to get burnt electronic books, okay? Uh, because there's always a copy somewhere, okay? So uh, I'm not really too worried about that. What we're, what we're interested in is looking at, we'll see what we got going on for CME action. So we'll, we click that, and I think we get another window. So let me save some tape time. So we're in here looking at this data off the sun. As we see again, we have a little bit less now we have a little bit less breakup action on the data coming, and we're evening out a little bit. We got a little cross phasing up there on that phase. Okay, looks like we're almost beginning to get a split phase off of a phase. You see that action right there? An electrician or anybody even in your mindset, you can see what we got going on there. Oh, we got cross phasing like crazy. Sorry, I was kind of hunched over in my chair, relaxed. So a lot of cross phasing still, but CME action is going down a little bit to give us a little bit better. Either, either that or they've be figured out how to clear the feeds up a little bit to get a little bit better data feed. Okay. And any electrician will tell you, folks, cross phasing is not good. Okay. Uh, spirits to be, without getting too religious, is the idea that something is playing with the commands on the motor of the suns or the sun because the idea that the phases are crossing on the electrical energy coming off the sun. That electrical phase there is crossing with that electrical phase. That phase is crossing with that electrical phase and that phase there and that phase there. And it's totally clear because the idea they've taken the little bit of either that or the CME action is calmed down enough to be able to get these readings here, okay, that they're not that fuzzy, okay? So tons of more action there. Let's go up to the deal. Space storm means space storm means electrical energy. Check that out. See the graph there. Okay, so let's see what we got going on on CME action. Don't know how much time tape time I got left. I don't edit. So here we go. Watch your date. You watch your date here, and then watch for whatever's going to hit Earth, which is the yellow mark. Okay, so it's stuff's hitting us again. So watch your date. I'll scoot up to that. Blue is clean. Okay, if we had blue around us, we'd be okay. When you get that color, we're getting CMEs. 18th 